Project one of Snap Circuit's 3D illumination is color light. This circuit is very simple. We have the color LED put in place. And here the instructions tell you how the kit works basically. We have electronic blocks which snap onto a clear plastic base grid to build different circuits. But we also have smaller base grids as I have explained and shown and showed you in the review video of this kit. And although we're not going to use them in this project, in later projects we will. And here they explain how the parts go together. And there are different levels in which they go on. In this circuit, the battery holder and three snap wire go on level one, and then the slide switch and color LED go on level two. Now, we will turn on the slide switch, and the color LED will change colors as well as flash. I'm going to turn out the lights so that you can see this effect better. I think I might as well do that. This component was seen in Snap Circuit's light, and I have explained there, but I'm going to explain it here as well, that the color LED has a built-in microcircuit that controls its flashing. And the color LED actually has three separate LEDs inside of it. They are green, red, and blue. So this LED creates a spectacular light show, and sometimes these color and these colors are often combined to make new ones. Mr. Snappy, as well as Mrs. Snappy, will be given giving extra information about the projects and components. Here they talk about how LEDs work. You can take the time to read that. I'm not going to explain that for time's sake. Here they also talk about safety regarding LEDs in that these ones have special resistors to limit current flowing through them so they will not be damaged. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration. Project 2 is white light. We replace the color LED with the white LED D6 and we will turn on the slide switch. Now the white LED is going to be a lot brighter than the color LED. It doesn't flash or change colors obviously, but it's bright and it may allow you to see easier in dark areas. I just turned out the light so you can see. Now this LED might be used in home light bulbs because LEDs like these, like this one, are more efficient, they're brighter, and they last longer than other types of lamps, such as incandescent and CFL lamps. Now be careful if you're experimenting on your own. You don't want to look directly into the white LED because it could hurt or even damage your eyes. For Project 3, Horn, we replace the white LED with the horn or W1 component. Now I'm going to turn on the slide switch and this is going to be pretty loud so you may want to turn down your volume. We're going to start it in three, two, one. I'm not going to have, I'm going to turn it off now because it's just so loud but I'll actually turn it on again very quickly. The horn works by converting electricity into sound by making vibrations. The vibrations create variations in air pressure which travel across the room. And you hear when your ears feel these air pressure variations. Now, you want to be careful not to put your ears too close to the horn because the loud noise can damage your hearing permanently. 
So caution needs to be exercised with this component too. Number four becomes very interesting and we will use what is perhaps the most unique component in this set, the simple light tunnel. After we build this circuit as shown, we will turn on the slide switch and look into this mirror and watch what happens. The LEDs in this component, which are red, green, and blue, turn on and off in different sequences and blink as well. And when you look into this component, it looks like you're looking down a very long tunnel. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. You might be asking, how is that possible? How is this virtual tunnel possible to make? That is because besides the two, the three, I mean the three red, three green, and three blue LEDs this component has, there is a mirror right behind them, and then there is a semi-transparent mirror above them. This combination causes the effects that you see, which are very spectacular. I ought to turn off the lights so that you can see this light show in a dark room. This is just incredible. Now the light tunnel has two different modes. Right now, the light the tunnel is in automatic mode, so when you turn on the slide switch, the way it is connected, it will just flash using the different color LEDs. But there's also ma a manual mode in which you can connect wires to these three points on of the tunnel so that you can light the individual colors of LEDs instead of all of them at once. Although that's an option too, but I will demonstrate that in later projects. But another thing you can do is very carefully press against the center of the mirror and watch the tunnel carefully the end of the tunnel seems to close in or get narrower. That's the light pattern changing because the mirrors are being pressed in. The mirrors are being bent. Number five is fireworks. We will use this circuit, which includes the color LED, and we will place the line lens over it. Now know that the lens can be rotated. We will then place the circuit against a wall. You can put it against a wall or a box and it's best to do this in a dark or dimly lit room. I'm going to turn off this light and then turn on the slide switch and look what happens. As the color LED flashes and changes colors it will produce a spectacular light show along the wall or box, and it may remind you of fireworks, hence the name of this project. The lens is diffusing the light so that it looks as though fireworks are going off. I might move the circuit a little bit further from the wall, and actually, you can slowly rotate the lens so that the pattern changes. Now it's more spread out. Now it may look more like northern lights than fireworks. Because the light is more diffuse. Maybe that should be a name for a project, northern lights. I'm just going to continue to turn the lens around. There's so many patterns that you can use with the lens. Hope you enjoyed.